One of the tragedies is that dementia, Alzheimer's, is going to affect so many of us. Um, it's affected your family, oh, hasn't right, it, yeah. Gordon? And your teammates, Martin Peters, Nobby Styles, and Ray Wilson. When was the last time you saw them? How often do you get to see them? Well, you don't get to see them very often now because of the, the, it's, it's a, such a, an illness and uh, difficult to get to see them. The last time I saw uh, Martin, for example, was when we had our reunion last May. Mm. We, for the last 30 odd years, we have a golfing reunion for um, a couple of days, and Martin had deteriorated a bit to its extent um, last May when it was it, it was really in the in the throes of the the middle of this this awful ailment. So that was the last time I saw Martin. But I hear about Martin fairly regularly because our wives, who have been friends for 50 odd years still talk fairly regularly so I understand that uh, what Kathy's going through Martin's wife when she yeah. speaks to my wife so I'm hearing about that that's the closest I, I think you can get to dementia without actually having somebody in your own family having it. Gordon you had somebody in your family your brother yeah. had this yeah. and died of this it, it does seem very unusual statistically to have three members of one team mm. all having this there is a theory that a lot of players from that era, because of the much heavier balls that were being used, that that might have contributed in some way through he constant pounding on their heads of these hard balls and so on. D is there any science to support this, or is it a gut feeling that some players from that no, era have? I don't believe there's, there's anything that can you know, say that this is definitely the reason why they've got it, but... Uh, we we believe that it, we think it, that it helps, you know, to to bring it on, if you know what I mean. But but there's no no, no, no reason why. It, it, it what do you think, Jeff? I mean, the football. There's well, no I doubt in those days they were a lot heavier, right? I was I was I've been interested really in the last uh, four, five, six, seven years when looking at three members of our 20-man squad have it, considering whether you took another uh, cross section of another guys between 70 and 80 years of age from different walks of life whether they would have the similar number percentage-wise. Mm -hmm. And people at Alzheimer's said that we are representative, our teammates, three of them, represented within the team of the same percentage of, of the general public. Right. Which I think is a very interesting um, consideration, uh, something I was interested in finding out. Mm -hmm. And they say our percentage is much the same as the guy in the street. Yeah. Gordon, you actually would like financial compensation introduced wouldn't you for uh, these yeah, cases? Well, I, I would do yeah I mean providing the the, the, the saying yeah definitely it's, it's if there is a link it's, it's, that's right mm. um, but uh, until that until that happens they, they can't do anything how really. did you cope with the illness affecting your brother oh that was that was terrible I mean I just couldn't believe it I just couldn't believe it um, you know coming when we went to go go and visit uh, the house and, and see him uh, and see him getting worse and worse and uh, eventually he, he had to go into hospital and, and when, when, when I came in to see him he just couldn't recognise it in the end, it was, it was real sad but uh, I, 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 did, I did feel sorry for his, his wife uh, Brenda because um, she, she actually told us these, these couple of stories about what happened mm -hmm. and uh, the first one was that, um, that uh, she was in the uh, they lived on this, uh, this this house that was on this very very tall very big hill mm -hmm. and it was the main road going into Rotherham and it was very busy a very busy road and she was in the in the kitchen this this particular day and uh, she she suddenly realized where, where is he so she starts looking all around the house couldn't find him went outside he'd crossed the road on this main on this main road and he'd, he'd walk, he was right at the top of the hill, she mm. just spotted him. She, she then starts running after him, getting him and putting him back in, and she said, right, that's it. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have, and, and get, let him get out of here. So she locked, every day, she locked, she locked the door so he couldn't get out. Mm. Guess what he did? And she, and she actually took these photographs. He started to climb over, the, over these huge, I mean, Fences oh. and one had got these big spikes, and, and one of the photographs got where he'd, he'd slipped, and, and this thing was right, oh. right near his, near his throat. Horrendous. And it, it, was, it was terrible. Can I ask both of you? I mean, you guys, like I said at the start, you're part of this iconic group of people who won the World Cup. You know, there's something this great holy grail of football we've struggled so much with ever since. Three of that team are really struggling right now. Yeah. Are they getting enough help? Financially, are they getting enough support from the world of football, from from the fans who, you well, know, I think the, idolise the, them? Well, I think the campaign is to, to raise awareness of it to start mm. with, which you're you're doing as well, 
and to raise money, A, for the care, which is the, very important, and B, for the research. They're the two key areas we, we need to look at. Mm -hmm. And looking at Martin's position and his wife, Cathy, she needs somebody that can look after Martin for a period of time at home, so it gives Cathy the time to have some s spend some time on her own. They're the, the issues, and I think it's the raising the money, which we hope this yeah. campaign will do. So we want people to donate, donate to alzheimers.org.uk to raise money, raise the awareness, is what the campaign is all about. And we were very pleased to be involved when yeah. asked to do this, because subject to uh, the families of the th our three teammates, yeah. uh, except that we, we could do this, that was a big proviso for, for me and Gordon. And we would only do this if the, the, the uh, teammates' families said it's okay to do this.